confusing verbs in English and how to really use them. Here is a list of the 15 most common confusing verbs in English any English teacher's needs. This handy infographic is ideal for explaining the 15 most common confusing verbs in English to your students. Make, this verb is used when creating a physical object, an action or reaction, a sound or speech, or food. For example, my dad likes to make furniture. Do, do on the other hand is used for jobs or activities, with anything or something, and it also indicated generic actions. For example, I need to do housework. Refuse, this verb is used to decline to accept or give something, and indicates an unwillingness. For example, I refuse to argue with you. Deny, this verb is used for declaring untruth, disagreement, to withhold or disown something, and to reject or contradict. For example, most deny that the sky is orange. Say, the word say is usually used without an object. For example, she knew what to say. Tell. The word tell is used to inform or instruct. For example, tell your brother to make his bed. Stay and remain, these two words are interchangeable in most cases. Both words have also developed unique idiomatic uses. For example, don't stay out late. Though the team lost, fans remain loyal. Sit, sit is the action of sitting down, it is a verb. For example, most prefer to sit when they eat. Seat, seat refers to an object that we can sit on. For example, please find a seat. Seated, the word seated is a verb in the passive form, and is also usually used in this way. For example, please wait to be seated. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.